Do you ever wonder why some people enter a room and instantly the air changes? Everyone's gaze is drawn to them and their energy seems to just magnetize others. What's their secret? Today, we're not just peeling back the layers. We're diving deep into the core of magnetic influence. Welcome back to the Heroes Forge, where we're about to supercharge your social presence with essential secrets that go beyond the surface. This isn't about becoming someone you're not. It's about amplifying what's already within you to not just be seen, but to be unforgettable. If you're ready to leave that cloak of invisibility behind and step into a world where people don't just notice you, but crave your presence, then you're in the right place. Let's embark on this journey together and unlock the full spectrum of your magnetic potential. First, the art of storytelling. In the arsenal of charisma, storytelling is not just a tool, it's a weapon of mass influence. Stories have always been used throughout human history to capture people's attention. Ancient Greek myths were told by poets, and because of this, they were able to be preserved. Picture the great leaders throughout history, from ancient orators to modern motivators, what set them apart. They weren't just speaking, they were storytelling, casting spells with words, drawing everyone into their world. This is your call to arms, to become a storyteller. It's not about spinning yarns or fabricating tales. It's about transforming your experiences, your insights, your very essence into narratives that resonate, that connect and move mountains. You might believe that what you have to say can't make use of this art, but everything can become a story if you apply the right principles, warrior. So, think with me. In essence, what is a story? Without much ado, it is a sequence of problems and solutions. If you can incorporate this structure into your discourse, rest assured that it will become much more captivating and you much more charismatic. However, for you, this may seem quite challenging to do, but here comes the key turning point. There is a simple way to incorporate storytelling into everything you say, and I am using it right now. So pay close attention to what I will say next. You can incorporate the art of storytelling into your speeches by replacing the word and with the word but and then adding a therefore. Think with me, warrior. The word and doesn't create a problem but a logical chain. However, logic is dull. It doesn't capture people's attention. On the other hand, the word but or similar words like however, nonetheless, and nevertheless serve to establish a problem. They are called adversative conjunctions for a reason. They evoke the feeling of adversity. Now, the word therefore serves a different purpose. It establishes a solution. Therefore, substituting and with these two words places your speech within the structure of a story and makes it much more interesting to listen to. The magic of storytelling lies not in the complexity of the tale, but in its authenticity, its relatability, its ability to touch the core of the human spirit. Think of your life as a treasure trove of stories waiting to be told. Each challenge you've faced, every victory you've savoured, even the mundane moments, they all hold power. Your task is to mine these gems and polish them, not with embellishment, but with the raw truth of your journey. Second, the charismatic listener. When we talk about charisma, people often think of phrases they need to say, postures they should adopt, and hacks or mental triggers to grab people's attention. However, that's not the behavior of someone who is genuinely charismatic. It's fascinating to observe how people are obsessed with finding the perfect hack, but the truth is, it doesn't exist. What does exist is transformation. You need to become more charismatic through a change in your way of thinking and acting. And this may seem challenging, but it's not. The first step, in fact, is quite simple. A truly charismatic person is not the one who speaks the most, but the one who listens best. Think with me, warrior. What is charisma? It's the ability to establish a connection with others. But what better way to connect with others than by doing what they love most, which is talking about themselves? Therefore, Listening to them will allow you to connect with them on a much deeper level than any hack or mental trigger you can imagine. But the power of active listening doesn't stop there. When you take the time to listen to someone with genuine interest, you make that person feel welcomed and understood.
If you understand them, you must be similar to them, but isn't it true that people love themselves the most? Therefore, if you are similar to them, they will like you more, meaning they will connect with you more. Think of the greatest leaders, the most revered confidants, the friends we treasure most. What do they all have in common? They mastered the art of listening, transforming each interaction into a bridge, a sanctuary, a stage for others to shine. As you embark on this journey of becoming the charismatic listener, remember, it's about seeing the words behind the words, the stories behind the stories, making the speaker feel not just heard, but truly seen. This is where real connections are forged, where trust is built, and where your charisma becomes not just a spark, but a beacon, drawing people not just to speak, but to share, to open up in ways they never thought possible. In the quiet depth of your listening, you'll find a power so profound, so transformative, that it turns every encounter into a moment of magic. Third, commanding the social stage. In the grand theatre of life, where every room, every gathering is a stage, there are those who merely occupy space and those who command it. The latter are the masters of the social stage, warriors in the art of influence, who navigate the complexities of human interaction with the ease of a seasoned conductor. Warrior. Imagine stepping into any setting, armed not with pretense, but with the authentic power of your presence, turning heads, not because you demand it, but because you inspire it. To dominate the social scene, warrior, you need to make your energy contagious to the other people there. But how do you do that? You might be wondering. And the answer is relatively simple, warrior. It's all a matter of intensity. Imagine your energy like gravity, where the more massive bodies attract the less massive ones. Similarly, intense energy attracts those with less intense energy. So, if you want to dominate the social scene, you need to have intensity. But here I'm not just talking about intensity in the way you speak, nor am I suggesting you speak loudly or shout. That's not how you show intensity. To demonstrate this intensity, warrior, you need to have a high level of self-awareness and understand what you're feeling, and then authentically express that, always looking people in the eyes because that creates connection, thus elevating your intensity and attracting those with less intensity than yours. Authenticity is the key here, because you can't fake an emotion with such intensity. You can try, but rest assured, it will seem forced, which is why self-awareness is crucial. Look, warrior, people today are always looking for the magic formula for everything, the trick to making people follow them, the right posture and all that nonsense. But charisma starts long before the social interaction itself. It starts with your most fundamental daily habits, in your meditation to gain knowledge of your emotions, in your studies to acquire new information, and even in the gym, where you'll gain the self-confidence to express your words with intensity. So, warrior, if you want to make people want to be with you, you must improve your fundamental habits, becoming better and more desirable. Fourth, the art of nonverbal mastery. You know, warrior, a good portion of social interaction doesn't happen with words, as strange as that may seem, it occurs mostly in facial and body expressions, where you can see what the person is truly feeling. That's why I detest chatting through messages and even calls. They exclude 80% of the elements of a real conversation, so I don't even consider them as real conversations. If you want to make people want to be close to you, warrior, it's essential that you gain mastery over your own non-verbal expression. But here, I don't want to sum it all up to the same old nonsense. Puff out your chest, take up more space, don't look down, and all those things you're tired of hearing. While these are indeed important elements, if our previous secret spoke clearly of authenticity, this is not where you should abandon it. Think with me, warrior. If you're feeling low confidence in a conversation and try to force a confident posture, you're likely to come across as forced. Therefore, you need to gain awareness of your non-verbal communication to identify the reason for your low confidence so that you can then work on it and truly become more confident. But if you're lost on how you can improve these weaknesses you currently possess, I'll be leaving a clickable screen for our video on recreation, which will teach you how you can recreate your personality to become your best version.
See you there, warrior. Our empire awaits us and nothing will stand in our way.